Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Free pick coming up in a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a try. It's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. And today, Wednesday, is a great day to do this because... We are red hot in the NBA. We won again last night. That's six in a row in the NBA, 17-3, and 85% with our last 20 NBA plays, and we're up about $5,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. And the reason it's such a great day to jump on board is because on Wednesday over at DocSports.com, I am releasing a seven-unit main event. We've been red hot with these plays also. Uh, in fact, we hit just a few days ago with another NBA main event. Seven-unit main event goes on Wednesday night. It is an NBA side. In fact, out of the 17-3 and three run, most of insides. Last night, we had a total that cashed, but we're back with the big seven-unit side on Wednesday. We look to make it seven straight NBA wins and go to 18-3 and three with our last 21. So don't miss out. 85% winners with our last 20 NBA picks at DocSports.com. The seven-unit play will be up early on Wednesday, again, only at DocSports.com, so you want to check that out. Uh, we do have a free play in college basketball, the CBI tournament between South Florida and DePaul. We're going to get to that in just a moment. As far as premium picks in college basketball, I doubt we're going to have the NIT final, but we'll wait and see. Uh, but it looks like we'll probably not have a premium pick until Saturday's Final Four. And uh, we already have one play that's uh, available, or I should say that's ready to go, and will be posted over at Doc Sports in the next couple of days for the Final Four. Uh, as far as the NHL, I'm going to pass on Wednesday just three games, and we're going to pass the slate. Uh, baseball will be in action, including our top play on Wednesday, our first five-unit play of the Major League Baseball season. It goes on Wednesday. It'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time, 45-26 and 26 run going back to late last season in Major League Baseball, so you'll want to be sure to grab that on Wednesday morning. So again, a great day to take advantage of the free $60 account because I've got a seven-unit NBA play as we look to go to 7-0 and 18-3 and with our current runs. Major League Baseball, our highest-rated play so far this season, five units also going on Wednesday. Both plays available Wednesday morning, DocSports.com. All right, listen, as far as the betting report for the Final Four, it's basically still the same. Uh, the uh, the Auburn Tigers are getting the, all the public action right now uh, over Virginia. Virginia was at one point as high as six. It's basically five and a half just about everywhere. I saw one or two offshores that got up to as high as six. Uh, but again, Auburn getting all that public money thus far. And in the other game, Texas Tech and Michigan State, basically a split ticket-wise and money-wise thus far. Michigan State still a two-and-a-half point favorite. Uh, we'll get you another update on tomorrow's report uh, as far as the betting report's concerned. And we'll dive into those NFL wins tolls that CG Books put up a couple of days ago here in Las Vegas. But for now, we get to our free pick for Wednesday. It is the CBI Game 2 Clash, best of three series between South Florida and DePaul. Uh, this series moving back to Chicago for this one. And uh, we like the over in this. It's 147. We think it goes over that total by about 8 to 10 points. Here's the thing. Now, Game 1, uh, South Florida played their style of basketball. They were able to enforce their tempo on DePaul. They win the game 63-61, hanging on after blowing almost all of a double-digit lead. There's no doubt South Florida doesn't want to play at the same pace that DePaul does, but I don't think they're going to be able to slow down DePaul on their home floor in this one. Uh, DePaul at home this year has averaged about 81 points per game. They've hit almost half their shots, right around 49% on the season. And listen, the Bulls, you know, they will oblige at times against teams on the road uh, when it comes to a faster pace game than they would normally play if they had their druthers. That's the thing with this team. I mean, offensively and defensively on the road this season, they've averaged 71 points on offense, 71 points allowed on defense. So I think that they will get involved a little bit in the pace that DePaul wants to run here. And by the way, South Florida, the proof is in the pudding, on the road a 30 and 14 overrun. I think we're going to see an over here, so I'm recommending to play uh, free opinion on Wednesday night CBI action over the total of 147 between South Florida and DePaul. And again, don't forget about Wednesday's big card. Five-unit play tops baseball, our first five-unit play of the season. Seven-unit main event in the NBA. We'll have to go to 7-0 and with our current run and up to 18-3 and with our last 21 NBA plays. Don't miss out that play available on Wednesday morning, DocSports.com. And again, grab that free $60 account. It all starts by clicking 
on the link below this video. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far, and you won't miss out on any videos once you subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific.